Welcome to Las Vegas Real Estate Now, where we believe in the three E's, educate, empower, and engage. I'm your host, Harvey Blankfeld of the Brown Blankfeld Group, selling homes in Southern Nevada since 1988. To bring you the three E's, we not only share our experience and knowledge, but that of our expert contributors. We are very proud to be part of the Real Estate Radio Network. Like them, we are dedicated to delivering timely, balanced truths for market conditions. Please stay tuned. We'll be back in just a moment. With us in studio, we have Carrie Phillips from Southern Fidelity Mortgage. Welcome. Thank you for having me. One of the things I wanted to talk to you about today was the importance of using a local lender. Very often we get buyers from out of state and they have their lender relationships from other states, but there's a good reason for them to consider using somebody local. Somebody local, I think, is important with the efficiency of the loan and the time it takes to complete the loan. Mm -hmm. You know, when you've got a local lender, you can drive your stuff down there. Everything is done within one building in Las Vegas, right. where other banks, especially the bigger banks, they've got their underwriting in Ohio, they've got their funding in California, different time zones by the way. So if you yes. get conditions or you get a loan that goes over one day, it doesn't even get looked at until the next day just because they're three hours ahead and they've already gone home for the day. So days make a difference. It should take a mortgage about three weeks if it's a local lender because <coughs> those days that we make up by having things here chop off half the time. Did you hear that other lenders? Carrie just threw down the garden. Like three weeks, she closes loans. It should not be any longer than that. A loan officer just needs to educate the client. If you want to close early, when I ask you for things like pay stubs, tax returns, they just need to be given to me within 24 hours. It can't be something that you sit and say, you know what, I'll get to it in a few days. Really, truly, I don't want ever your earnest money to be at risk. You're in a contract, and if you go over a contract, what happens? Possibly. You, you, go, lose you could lose your money. And I can't sleep at night if I've got that hanging on my head. Oftentimes, there's an assumption that you can automatically get an extension. But it's not the case. We've had deals where the seller said no, no more time. And sometimes it probably happens because the seller says, nope, I'm not extending because a house down the street just sold for 50,000 more. And now yeah. I get to list my house a little bit higher. It They're, has definitely happened where they have a backup offer that's yeah. higher. Or a so cash they can offer. get out of the yeah. contract. Lenders from out of state just don't understand Nevada. They don't understand the way things work here. I don't know how they do deals in other states. I'm only licensed here, but I can tell you there's no sense of urgency. None. There's none. There's questions that are going to come up. You okay. want to measure the response. It's hard to measure responses over the phone. Yeah. Of course, we say that while we're on the radio. Well, right. <laughs> Therein is the value that meeting in person will be able to establish a relationship because a lot of times it's more than just that one mortgage. Absolutely. It's about support later on. Yep. When mm -hmm. a client goes and signs those final loan documents, that can be scary. And I go to my signing so that any questions that they have, I can answer right there. We're seeing some 80 10 10s. What's an 80 10 10? Well, when you don't put 20% down, typically you pay private mortgage insurance. Right. And it's an extra fee that's zero benefit for the buyer. It's all benefit for the bank. And if you foreclose, that insurance pays off the mortgage. Now, the client puts 10% down of their own money. Mm -hmm. We've got another mortgage that's 80% of the purchase price. That's called their first mortgage. Mm -hmm. And then they've got a second mortgage that's 10% of the sales price. That 10% that they put down plus the 10% of the second mortgage makes it look like the client's putting 20% down, so right. therefore it avoids private mortgage insurance. Carrie, thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. Please tune in every week and help us heal the Southern Nevada market one home at a time.